Thank you, and good morning, Senator Hatch, Senator Feinstein, members of the committee. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to introduce my fellow Pennsylvanian, David Porter, who has been nominated to serve on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. I enthusiastically support his nomination. Mr. Porter has deep roots in Pennsylvania. It's where he was born and raised by two public school educators who taught him and his siblings the value of hard work and education. Mr. Porter and his wife, Valerie, settled in western Pennsylvania and have raised their six children there during their 28 years of marriage. David Porter is widely regarded as one of the preeminent attorneys in western Pennsylvania. He has a wealth of legal experience that will make him an outstanding judge. Currently, he's a shareholder in the Pittsburgh office of Buchanan, Ingersoll, and Rooney, a leading national law firm. During his 24 years at that firm, he's worked as a litigator on numerous complex commercial, regulatory, and constitutional matters in both state and federal courts, including the Third Circuit. He's represented a diverse set of clients, including the New York Times and Pennsylvania's former Democratic Governor, Ed Rendell. Prior to joining Buchanan Ingersoll, Mr. Porter served for two years as a law clerk for Judge D. Brooks Smith when he was a federal district court judge in Pennsylvania. Judge Smith is now the Chief Judge of the Third Circuit, and he's here in the audience today. In addition to his law firm practice, Mr. Porter has served in numerous professional service and other organizations. For example, he's been a leader in the Allegheny County Bar Association. His peers elected him to serve as the chair of two of that association's preeminent sections. He has also served on the Pennsylvania State Advisory Committee of the U.S. Commission on Civil Rights. During his distinguished legal career, David Porter has developed an outstanding reputation for professionalism, fairness, and integrity. But you don't have to take just my word for this. This committee has received multiple glowing letters of support for Mr. Porter's nomination from a diverse group of attorneys and organizations from Pennsylvania and beyond, including the Pittsburgh Firefighters, IAF Local Number 1, and the current president and a past president, of the Pittsburgh chapter of the National Organization of Black Law Enforcement Executives. I'd like to share with you briefly what just two of Mr. Porter's peers, including opposing counsel, have written about him in these letters. These are attorneys who know Mr. Porter from years of firsthand experience. Albert Peter Lynn, who has known Mr. Porter professionally for over 10 years and has been opposing counsel against him in multiple complex business litigation, wrote about David Porter, and I quote, he has always conducted himself in a professional and ethical manner while zealously representing the interests of his client. He represents all that is good in the legal profession. He is fair and impartial, as well as thoughtful and deliberate." End quote. Tom Thompson, one of Mr. Porter's law partners who has known him professionally for over 20 years, wrote, and I quote, I am a staunch Democrat. However, particularly at the Court of Appeals level, I believe it is more critical than ideology to have a solid, thoughtful judicial temperament coupled with character, intelligence, and the ability to function in a judicial setting. I strongly believe that David has all of these attributes expected of a judge on the Court of Appeals. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, like Mr. Porter's peers in the legal community on both sides of the political aisle, I also enthusiastically support his nomination to the Third Circuit. I am confident, I'm certain, that he has the essential qualities needed to excel as a federal judge, which are experience, intelligence, integrity, and very importantly, respect for the limited role of the judiciary in our constitutional system. I wholeheartedly endorse his candidacy, urge this committee to support him, and urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to vote to confirm David Porter to the Third Circuit. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. That's